So we'll go ahead and... My background is in okay. microbiology, nutrition, and biochemistry. And over the last 25 to 30 years, I've been studying what you eat, what you drink, and how it impacts the internal fluids of the body, the pH specifically. I have discovered something that I think is incredible and is so very, very important. And that is that the human organism is alkaline by design, but acidic by function. If we can maintain the alkalinity of the internal fluids, then the longevity of our life can be extended to whatever we choose it to be. Anytime that we're expending energy, there's a waste product, it's an acid. Every function of the body from breathing, uh, from thinking, even your thoughts produce acidity because a thought requires energy. And when you're constantly in your thoughts, that produces acids. And those acids, if not eliminated through urination, perspiration, respiration, guess where the acid goes? For women, it goes into the breast, which causes, you know, microcalcifications and breast cancer. If it goes into the brain, then it can cause brain cancer. If it goes into the prostate, it can break down the prostate. Once we understand these two very, very important principles of maintaining alkalinity within our internal fluids of the body, that it's not the cell that's important, it's the fluids of which that cell is bathed in. The blood is the most important organ of the body. It is the blood that is the foundational stem cell. It is the blood that becomes your liver. It is the blood that becomes your skin. The quality of the blood determines the quality of every cell in the body, and the quality of the blood is determined by what you eat and what you drink. And this is why we have so much sickness and disease in the world, because we're so acidic. And, and the major contributor to acidity is animal proteins. That's also a representation of uh, maybe a diet that's, that's higher in carbohydrates or proteins. We need to get more greens and more alkalinity in the, into the diet. And so we've that, done this with bodybuilders. When we take them off their protein diets, okay, and we start giving them uh, green foods and focus on building the blood, this is when they get strong and lean. Look at that thing. I mean, it's just packed. If you monitor the pH and keep your pH ideally 7.2 or better, who knows how long you can live. Once we catch the vision of this new physiology, this new biology, then what we start thinking of food a lot different. Probably the most important thing, even if you didn't change your diet, is start drinking pure, clean, alkaline, energized water. Water, water's the key. Again. And the right kind of water.